What's going on? This is the Ask a Swim Pro Show. My name is Ferris Sabati, CEO of My Swim Pro, and I am joined by Nate of Swim Nerd. Hey, man. What's, What's up? Good to see you. What's going on? We Thanks are for in, having me. We are in Hangzhou, China at the FINA World Aquatics Convention, and this is right before the Short Course World Championships, where we'll see athletes from all over the world competing. But uh, we're here in, in Hangzhou, and let's, let's, before we get into to what's happening here, tell me about yourself. What's, uh, yeah. Um, well, uh, my name's Nate, and I really like swimming. I like it. <laughs> uh, I've kind of been uh, in swimming in the swimming world for a long time. Mm -hmm. I uh, coach college, I swam in college, I coached college, coached club, and kind of, uh, I, I got out, but I'm um, still in, you know, obviously making clocks now. Um, so yeah, and uh, so I'm, a, I'm a big master swimmer. Right on, so we, we both love the sport of swimming. That's right. Shared passion, and you mentioned clocks, so tell us about, at a high level, what's going on with sure. that? Sure, <laughs> well, it's, it's pretty simple, right? Anyone that swims in the whole world knows what a pace clock is, uh -huh. and we basically, wanted to make a pace clock that was affordable for mm -hmm. any swim team, yep. whether it's a high school team or a summer league team, um, that you could also see, and it was mm -hmm. also a little bit more usable. So uh, it was just something that hadn't really been innovated upon in a long time, right? Mm -hmm. So we made it Bluetooth uh, connectable to your, to your phone, um, so you can program any set you wanted to do, which makes things a little bit more creative, especially, you know, like we just did a drop down set, our master's team just mm -hmm. did a drop down set which is really fun so you can you can just uh, just a couple clicks explain what a drop down set is for, for the fans who right know so i think we did uh 16 75s and uh we basically dropped by two seconds every single time mm -hmm. and you can't do that if it's an analog clock right yep. the math would be funky math a little too brazen yeah. but um uh yeah so it's nice you know if it counts up to 130 starts yep. over counts up to 128 yep. starts over counts up to 126 starts over so um, yeah, the, the drop down set's like a, it's a mm -hmm. nice fun set. You know, see how, how far you can push yourself. Um, and if you fall off, that's that's okay. That's where you fall off the next time you, you, you want to try to you know mm -hmm. go a little bit further. Yeah. And you you mentioned to me this is your third time in Hangzhou in 2018. Yes. Uh, so you've done business here. <laughs> yep. 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 You're, you're a businessman. You're yep. an entrepreneur. This is my uh, uh, <laughs> this is my Chinese home. Your and Chinese I like this. I like, I like, as I like to say, yeah. And you'll be here for some of the world championships. Yes. Uh, and we we first met in 2016 at the Windsor. It, yes. Yeah. This in convention. Canada. Yep. That's right. Yeah. For, okay. So for the fans who don't know what the FINA World Aquatic Convention, how would you summarize what this is? It's like um, it's, it's just every single swimming business. Yeah. Uh, is here to showcase what they are, what they have, you know, what, what their products are. So, um, you and know, if it's lane clinic, right? Yeah, couple, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There is a here. lot. There is a lot that goes on. Obviously, you have the convention where the expo, mm -hmm. where you know, we're hanging out. Right, exactly. There's booths everywhere, um, and then you have the coaches clinic, which is really, really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my favorite part. Yeah. You know, I usually sit in all, on all those, um, mm -hmm. and then they have. Uh, I guess they have like a more businessy type of mm. schedule also in another conference room, right? Yep. Yeah. And so they talk a lot about fundraising and sponsorship deals and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then what's your favorite part about the, all of this? Um, I mean, I'm, a, I'm like a networking type of a guy, you know? Yeah, yeah. I like to talk to the people mm -hmm. that are inside of swimming. So mm -hmm. I got to talk to uh, Christian Malmsten mm -hmm. from Malmsten, uh, like the number one lane line provider in the world. Yeah. Uh, they're also the, the maker mm -hmm. of uh, probably your favorite goggles, the, uh, the original Swedish goggles. <laughs> um, and so I got to talk to him, you know, he, he was explaining to me uh, today how his father had, uh, had a, a swimmer that was like allergic to everything. Mm. And the foam around the goggles would leave her eyes mm. like super oh, red, like because she was so allergic to everything. And uh, she was like, she was a really good swimmer and she went to, uh, Mr. Malmsten and said like, "Hey, I gotta quit because like I can't, um. I can't get a boyfriend because I have these big <laughs> red circles around my eyes." So uh, he was like, "No, nah, you're not quitting. We'll uh. we'll try to figure it out." So apparently he was like a really good artist, mm. and so he drew the original Swedish goggle, and then just so happened that I think the 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 swimmer's father was like a tool guy, like he made mm. tools, and so he made the first uh, Swedish goggle. <laughs> and awesome. yeah, so he told the whole story. It was just, you know, that's the stuff that I love. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty for me, cool. It's the international flavor. I mean, you hear so many oh, different sure. languages. 
it's amazing. Like you can be sitting in the in between sessions and you'll hear French and German and yeah. Spanish yeah. and Portuguese and Arabic. And it's just like, wow. <laughs> yeah, it is a mission, right? Like everyone's got the little head pieces when you're sitting Try, in those yeah, rooms, depending on who's speaking yeah. what language. And you got all the translators in the back. I mean, it really is, it's, it's the world. It's the world of aquatic convention. convention, right? Yeah, so <laughs> it is nice. I, I do like the international flavor myself. And then the world championships. What are you most looking forward to? Oh, at these easy, worlds? backstroke. Backstroke. Yeah, I mean, you go. We have we have four world record holders on the guys' side here. No big deal. So yeah, Clement Kalish, Kalishnikov from Russia, world mm -hmm. record holder. Uh, Orion Murphy, uh, world it. record holder. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mitch Larkin from Australia is here. Yep, another world record here. holder. Uh -huh. And um, uh, Zhu. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, from China. Yeah. The 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 young one that just broke the hundred back. The young gun. In, yeah, he just went forty eight in the hundred short course meter backstroke. That's fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could say so. So, so Hunter backstroke. What else are you feeling? Um, obviously the fifties a stroke. It's oh, yeah. like the splash and dash. Mm -hmm. Th those are those are good. Um, and you got Dressels here with Ben Proud uh, and yeah. Vlad Morozov, who was yeah. obviously just, just on the show. Just so out, yeah. those three are going to go <laughs> head to head. Yeah, good it's going to be really, really, really good. And for Michael Andrew will be in the mix. Um, yep. Especially in a, in a couple star. of those stroke ones. Yeah. yeah. So it's there's that's a lot there's a lot to be excited about. And then uh, on the women's side, I really want to see the Chinese the young Chinese woman. Mm, mm. Um, I think she just went 753 in the 800 free short course meter. She's Woo! only 15, she's only 15. Woo! You can remember <laughs> Katie Ledecky what she did when she was 15. That's a dangerous age yeah, for that event. Yeah, absolutely like. <laughs> crazy. So yeah, there's a lot. You know, not everyone's here, um, mm, but there's some missing big guns. But yeah, but there's still there's enough here to make yeah. it interesting. And it's short course, and we don't get to see that very often unless you're in the states and it's yards and. You feeling world records? Oh yeah, I'm thinking there's going to be a lot and, of world records. At least. Yes. Yeah, for sure. I think we did a poll. Um, most people think it's going to be like less than five. I think it's going to be more than five world records. I think, yeah, five to seven. Yeah, there's going to be a bunch of relays, but there should be at least five individual, I think, mm -hmm. world records here. Mm -hmm. Maybe more. It, it, it depends on, um, you know, a, lo a lot of it, I think, depends on the health. And, you know, a lot of yeah, people how are... how much jet lag. How much, are you sick? Are you not sick? You know, um, the venue injuries. And, uh, the excitement in the venue could play into it, I think. You, it's going to be. It's going to be. A, I think it's going to be a packed house. Tickets yeah. are uh, sold out. It's sold out. <laughs> few and far between um, <laughs> to get tickets now. And uh, of course, this is like this is the capital of swimming in China. Yeah, like uh, Sun Yang. Just yeah. <laughs> literally, their booth is right next door yeah. of the school that he went to. Yep, I mean, exactly. <laughs> so it's yeah. It's. I think it's going to be really exciting. I think the Chinese are really going to. They're going to. They're going to. Yeah, that's right. China's going to show up. Yep, they got home field advantage. Yeah. Okay. So. The International Aquatics <clears throat> Convention, what have you seen as trends, global trends in the last, say, five years, and then five years looking forward, things that you're keeping an eye on? Um, well, uh, if you walk around here, there's a lot of um, companies that are, are, are trying to do really nice underwater mm -hmm. work, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. where, where it's all automatic. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I guess Triton Wear just showed, yep. showed off they're trying to get into that yeah, too. Yeah. So you're going to see a lot of automatic analytics with mm -hmm. underwater cameras and stuff. Yeah. Um, so there's th there's that, uh, and it'll just get better and better, mm -hmm. I think, and yeah. easier and easier as the technology gets cheaper and better. Yeah. yeah. Um, and more people getting into it, you know. Mm -hmm. and I guess in the future, five years from now, swimming-wise, I don't know. Yeah, have we? How close are we? More specific question. How close are we to the plateau of swimming times? Like, for example, Caleb Dressel goes seventeen six in short course yards, which this is significantly faster than anyone's gone. Well, and then it's like, how much faster can the human go? This is an interesting question. You yes. know, I think if you're Where a swim nerd, you're. This is a question that gets bounced around a lot. Yeah, yeah. And I'm asking the swim nerd. I would. So. I would. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting because if you watch. The, the history of swimming, right? Mm -hmm. we, we've always made little adjustments, suits, yep. goggles, uh, mm. the, the the backstroke wedge is new. Oh, true. Well, Start not like super, it it's a yeah. few years old, tweak, but yeah. that's that's an advantage, you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the times are being helped a little bit, I think, by technology. Mm -hmm. The pools are much faster. The pools are standardized now at you know? the top level. And, and obviously swimming, the science behind swimming is really yeah. just, uh, I don't think we're there yet. Mm -hmm. We're still, mm -hmm. there's a lot to learn. Yeah. 
And um, so yeah, it's it's. I think we're going to keep going. Mm. You know, the so not other close. Keep the same no, pace no, of no. improvement. It's not really going to slow down. The other thing is we're we've just been getting real athletes into the sport. Oh, that yeah. It, I, what does that mean? What do you mean? How do you I mean that? like, yeah. I mean like uh, Tim Duncan. Yeah. <laughs> is one of the world's greatest basketball players ever. Uh -huh. Before that, he was one of the yeah, world's was, greatest age group swimmers ever. Solid, until like 14 or something. He's right? an athlete. Yeah. That's yeah. a real, true, blue chip athlete. Blue it didn't chip, matter like what that. that guy played, he's gonna be good at it. True. Um, so, yeah, when you have people that are six foot eight coming into the sport, mm -hmm. it's gonna change. Um, I, I agree. So yeah, I think there's there's a lot. I think that's a longer term. I think in 15 years you'll see more of those six foot eight titans yeah, well, dominating. I'm waiting for India to pop. Oh, okay. So it, that's a different perspective. It's the fastest growing mm -hmm. uh, swimming in, uh, community in the world. I think India is the fastest growing country. <laughs> Period. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of size, not in terms of speed. Like it has yeah. 1.3 billion people. <laughs> you know, there's you're going to find someone that is the next is uh -huh. the Indian version of Michael Phelps, yeah, or or or, or whatever. So um, yeah. there's we're just so it's so untapped, you know. There's swimming's yeah. just not that big in the world. So so what do you think? We're here in China, in Hangzhou. China's obviously the largest country in the world right now, and also produces talent. You know, at the international level, they've won medals. Sure. Where do you see China at this championship and in the future? I think they're going to do really well here. You know, like I said, home, home full home, advantage yeah, it's in from, Beijing. I mean, really stepped up. They got these young ago. kids, uh, the backstroker Zhu. He's just yeah. amazing. Uh -huh. he, he's got the smoothest stroke. It's clean. His stroke rate's actually kind of slow, mm. but he's super efficient. Yep. Um, his underwaters are, are excellent. He's super flexible. Mm. Um, so, yeah, China's untapped. You know, mm -hmm. they a lot of potential still. There's a billion people and a lot of them don't, still don't learn how to swim. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's becoming more and more, they're building more pools, they're yep. getting kids involved early as you've walked around here and seen mm -hmm. all the, the, the Hanjo communities, uh, you know, pushing kids mm -hmm. to learn how to swim at a young age. So yep. that's, once you're introducing more people, you, it's a numbers game. Yeah. It's just a numbers game. Yeah. And, so and, yeah, China's, <laughs> China's gonna, gonna be a up. force to reckon with for and sure. One thing you mentioned is teaching kids how to swim and let's, let's kind of transition to talking about not drowning. <laughs> what, you know, sure, saving sure. lives. Let's talk right, about saving right. lives, talk about the work you've done okay. in, this, in this arena. So one of the, the on the nonprofit side, mm -hmm. we started the International Water Safety Foundation. Uh, it's at drowningawareness.org. And basically what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to do two things. Mm -hmm. Number one, we're trying to make the world aware of what's going on in regards to drowning, mm -hmm. as it is essentially the leading killer of children in the world, period. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, number two, we're focused on fundraising. Mm -hmm. So uh, we created a fundraiser called a Tretathon, and if your master's team wants to get involved, mm -hmm. they can uh, tread water. You know, like this past year, I treaded water in the Chesapeake Bay for 12 hours straight to raise money. Woo! <laughs> yeah, thank you. It was, That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was a little tough on the joints, you know. Uh, but you did 12 hours. It's yeah, incredible. 12 hours. And, uh, For a good cause. Yeah, and so 50% of the money goes to um, our, our the foundation, yep. uh, which most of goes to uh, mm -hmm. programs like Swim Cambodia, where they're the first drowning mm -hmm. intervention program in Cambodia. Uh, and we're teaching, we're training trainers mm -hmm. in Cambodia uh, to teach kids how to swim and to teach CPR. And, and those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. It's a giant need. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it's been really good. And oh. then the other 50% goes to whatever that team wants. So yep. like when I did the 12 hours, I raised money for my own city. Mm -hmm. So Virginia Beach teaches kids how to swim, but it's through a nonprofit. So 50% mm -hmm. of the money that the other side went to them. So now we're, um, it's a local to global really mm -hmm. initiative. That's the focus, right? Yeah. So if you want to get involved and do a treadathon, it's an easy way. It's a fun way. Mm. A little bit more fun than uh, swimming blindly for 10,000 yards or whatever. <laughs> you know, and you can talk or you can watch a movie yeah, or whatever. Tread, tread, but uh, yeah, it's really the focus is, is to make people aware of what's going on. That's awesome. Um, where can people learn more about this? Drowningawareness.org. 
Uh, I'll link it in the description. Yep, cool. And uh, yeah, that's where you'll find all the Tretathon information. And uh, for Swim Nerd, we are at swimpractice.com. Yeah. Swimpractice.com. Swimpractice.com. And, and if you were to, you know, summarize the Swim Nerd, what they're gonna get, if that the product, the package, what? Yeah. You so you get this big, beautiful green clock with nine-inch tall LEDs. That's four digits. Uh, we went with green because green means go, mm -hmm. red means stop. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, it's completely waterproof. It's not submersible, but you've probably seen me with the the garden hose. Yep. Uh, hosing it down. Um, and then uh, the app's free. You know, you just download the app and you can program sets. Yeah. There you go. So it's it's really it's a coach's dream. Yeah. You know, especially the the old analog clocks. You just can't. Old school. You can't see them. It's old school. Yeah, <laughs> it's old school. So yeah, that's that's where you can find us. Cool. Well, uh, Nate, thanks so much for joining us on the show. It's well, first, thank you. Yeah. As always, we are reporting in Hangzhou, China, in preview of the World Championships. Uh, we'll we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Peace.